Yeah. 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 Right, yeah. so what we'll do, we'll go on the outside first. Okay. Show you things might be the same, slightly different. Right, okay. Was it, think, was it a Swift? Uh, it was, but it was an older one, it was yeah. like 2004 yeah. or something. But still, still got the basics there. Yeah, still pretty similar. Yeah. But there will be differences. Okay. Especially when you get inside, you'll see the differences yes. there. Yes. As yeah. in the uh, control panel. Yes. 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 Yeah. yes. <laughs> that's it there. Yeah. So we've got that, we've got the battery, we've got your gas on. Right, okay. You've got your old battery that's in there. Right, okay. So you might probably not have good place to keep it, but yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah we'll we'll it's not going to increase your nose weight too much, but we'll yeah. take that Yeah, you don't need it in there. Got your new battery, great. We'll, we'll attach that for you afterwards. Okay. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll start on the, on the pointy end. Yeah. This should look reasonably similar. Yes. If you had the stabiliser head before. Yeah, that's right. You yeah. had the red handle one and some similar to that. Yeah, perhaps. similar to that. Yeah, one, yeah. They've just changed the handle. That's right, all we've right, got. Okay. All exactly the same. Toe ball, grease free, paint free. Yes. Yeah, so hopefully you've got that on yeah. yours. Yeah. Breakaway cable, are you happy with what that does? Yes, yeah, yeah it's a big sum. Yeah, so if it comes off the caravan, yeah. caravan on the back of the car, it shouldn't do. Yeah. I'll, I'll, <laughs> show, I'll show you how to put that on correctly. Right, okay. Afterwards, yeah. as in, so you shouldn't really need to rely on a breakaway cable that's there as backup, just yeah. in case. Handbrake. Yeah, wow. no, but easy as that. <laughs> just be careful, it's spring loaded. Yes. So if you've got your finger somewhere near that, it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Right, okay. If it's on a bit of a backward slope, yeah. it actually pulls the brake on a bit more. Oh, right, okay. If it's going forward, it doesn't. Right, so okay. It, 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 you'll see the back brake pull itself right. on the right. right, okay. And obviously, you need to operate it to start it. Yes, forward. yeah. Okay, jockey wheel, that shouldn't be any different, no. unless you've got a side lift one instead of a, in the centre of the A frame. Uh, yes, it was, yeah, it was yeah, on the side. Yeah, yes. side. Yeah. It's in the centre, you just need to get the wheel. Obviously, we'll, we'll go for all that when we connect to the car. Right, yeah. okay. But it, 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 Things up into the AV. Oh, yeah. right, okay. 13 pin electrics, you may have had, obviously, you've yeah, got, got, got the two pin yeah, on there. Got the two you've got the two yeah. set ones, yeah. yeah. So 13 pin on the caravans now. Right. But uh, I'll show you. So I don't know if you've seen a, a 13 pin before. Right. So when you connect to your adapter, yeah. you see there it's got this little notch there. Yeah. And you've got three other points here. Yeah. That centre ring stays where it is. You push it in, turn it, that centre one, as I said, stays where it is, and the other one. Turn, oh, so turns and turns and pulls in. That turns on there, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, okay. So what what you've got to be careful of when yeah. you if you take it out, if you take that off, yeah. so you may leave it on when, when it's once you've attached it, it's yeah. up to you. When you're turning it out, make sure you fully turn it left before you pull it. Right. Because it misaligns that by a fraction. Okay. Okay? If yeah. that moves by a fraction to say there, yeah. you can't get it back in. Right, okay. Right? Yeah. There is a little tool in there which I'll show you after okay. that realigns that. Oh okay. Okay. Yes. Well yes. just remember that if you do and it's, you can't get it back in there, why it won't go back in, it's just moved. Right. Normally that is 90 degrees to that. Right, okay. Yeah, right. Okay. But when you're not using it, keep it up out of the way. Yeah. Okay. Gas locker. So, you just trying to think how old your van is. Um, did you have an onboard regular regulator like that? Uh, or, or was it the regulator was on the end of the pipe and it connected the regulator? I think on the, the regulator was on the pipe, was on, was on the end, yeah. 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 Right, so regulator on the, past a certain age of van. Regulator is actually attached to the bulkhead right. of the caravan. Yes. You can operate that gas on what you've got here, propane or butane. Oh, okay. So the blue bottle or the red bottle. You right. better okay. stick enough for the red bottle. Yeah. You can use that gas all year round. Right. Okay. Butane is only really a summer gas. Right? Yes. So yeah. st stick, stick with your propane. Okay. Um, if you do decide to use blue, yeah. what you need is a different pigtail. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. To connect it, shouldn't be any different, as in you need a spanner. Yeah. Obviously, oops, excuse me. Make sure it's tight. Yes. Obviously, before you use it. Yeah. Obviously, you can turn it on to use it. Yeah. When you're travelling, make off. sure it's turned off. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I just realised we just need to finish strapping in that oh, yeah. other one. Okay. Yeah. So also sitting in here, obviously, is your old battery. Yeah. Got your step. Yeah. Right. Great. Also got the winder handle and wheel nut spanner there as well. Oh, okay. Okay. Great. Yeah. Obviously, spare wheel. I don't know if that's your spanner or not. No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, so that might be because James took the um, the gas off your pre your old van. Oh, that's okay. So that he might have used that and then forgot Maybe. to obviously. He's got quite it, quite handy of uh, leaving <laughs> tools and spanners. Not that he normally uses that, which is quite surprising. Right, we come round this side. Yeah. Are you happy with your gas lock? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Round this side. The first thing we come to there is your, your boiler vent. On right. your previous van, knowing what age it was, I would say you probably had a fire. And a boiler yes. separate. Yes, yeah? that's right, yeah. The boiler vent, yeah. which is that, 
yeah. on your old one had a cover. That's, that's took right, off. yes, yeah? yes. This you don't need to, that's, okay. that's the vent as is. That's right, don't so there's no cover to that. take off, yeah. so you don't need to worry about that's that. That's what my dad was paranoid about. Yeah, so no cover to take off. Yeah. Water in, that might look similar. Uh, yes, I'm not flushing. Yeah, <laughs> see, see what's happening there, look. Yeah. Especially the cold weather. Goes, yeah. It tends to be cooled up in the sink. Yes. When it's cold, it just wants to stay there. Yeah. So just make sure it's straight, yeah. you straighten it out. Otherwise, it goes like that. Oh yeah, is that even it just sucks air out the top yeah. of the aqua and not the water through it. Yeah. So straight it out. This is your pipe anyway. Yeah. Get it in, just put it in. Right. Remove it, just pull trigger. Oh right, okay. Pull that up. Okay. Right, we've got our, our battery attached to it at the moment. So we've got everything up and running. 12 volt systems is up okay. and running. 240 is up and running. So we, we will, on, at the end there, we'll just put your uh, battery on. Okay. Have you had a mo mover before? No. no. No? So key point for your mover, I'll explain more about the mover later on. Yeah, okay. Because um, obviously you can't start dragging all this lot <laughs> back and forth with a mover. Yeah. But the key point, which actually switches the power from the battery to the mover, that's behind the, the power lead here. So what is okay. it a switch, is it? Yeah, well there's actually a key which oh, is inside right. of the Okay, right. right. Okay. With your electrics, I and mean, if you're aware of this, always make sure you connect your 240 to your van first. Well, connect your cable, not the 240, but connect your cable yeah. to your van first. Okay. Unravel it. Connect your bollard after. Okay. Okay. Reasons for that is if you plug to your bollard first, yeah. you start walking across wet grass with a cable in your hand. Right. That's risk of yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Spiky air. Right. Yeah. So be very careful. Yeah. So always connect your van first. Yeah. Unravel. Okay. Connect to your bollard. Okay. okay. So obviously it's a lot safer like that. Yeah. Okay. And obviously it should it should be exactly the same. Make sure yeah. the cable's in air. Yes. Obviously shut that. You obviously yeah. don't normally have your battery on the outside no, like no. I've got. <laughs> That's just for ease of us for yeah. putting stuff on and off. Okay. Alright, good. Mover obviously there, I will explain more about that later. Okay. Wastewater outlet, okay, you see everything okay in there, yeah. Wastewater outlet, so water is coming through your sinks and your, your, and your bathroom and your shower, is all coming through there. Toilet, so flush tank, and if you had your flush tank up here on your last one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you, you'll plug, plug your hose into that. Yes. You should have uh, yeah. some some you have like two hoses into yes. a into a, a like white a piece. piece. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Flush tank. If you had your flush tank up there or not, or no, was it, it was all, inside there? It was all yeah. inside there. So yeah. on this one, this model now, they, they put them on the outside. Right. That's just a reservoir for your, your toilet flush. Yes. Pink chemical, small amount of, yeah. top it up with water. Do not travel with that water full. If okay. it overflows into the van when you're dri driving along, yes. okay. you can have some in there. Yeah. Obviously having kids and knowing what kids are like. Yeah. Get a couple of miles down the road and want to use the toilet. Yeah. You've got that toilet to use if you want to, but yeah. obviously not when you're driving. Yeah. What's the tank storage capacity? Oof, that's a good question, that is. I think it's around about five litres. I wouldn't, Don't quote me on that, but you, normally you can see how full it is by looking at it yeah. to say it's full, but actual level, you can't see the level on it. Yeah, okay. All right. So just be careful when you're on site, you're using it before you leave. Yeah. If you're quite careful and don't keep topping it full all the time, yeah. let it drain down so far, you don't need to drain it. As long as, you, as long as it's not full. If right, you can see good. the level there, that is full. Yeah, okay. And if you drive off with it at that level, yeah, it could yeah. float over the top. Okay. Okay, cassette. So this cassette will be different. Yeah. So to release it, just lift that orange handle. Yeah. It should slide out easy. If yeah. it's not, wastegate is still open on the toilet. Right, okay. So push it back in, go yeah. and have a look. So you never know, the kids might have left it open. Yeah. Shut it, slide it out. Okay. That's got small one, Yeah, so oh, small one, but you've got wheels, yeah, that's handle. Obviously, makes life a lot easier to go in there. Yes. Go and empty. Yeah. Mechanism should be the same. Yeah. So, yeah. obviously, blue chemical before you use it. Yeah. And around about a pint of water. Yeah. Obviously, it helps break down the nasty stuff. Yeah. When you go to empty it, obviously, out through there. Obviously, yeah. cap off. Yeah. 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 Exactly yeah. the same. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That just slides back in. Obviously, once you've got the blue, blue chemical, it's ready to use. Yeah. Drain down for your flush tank is on a little ledge here. This okay. Is this rubber pipe here. Nice. Okay. So, that you need to drain down for winter. Yeah. Okay, do not leave anything in there. Yeah. So the best thing to do is flush it. Use the flush yeah. system. I don't know if you had an electric one or a pump one on your last van. Electric. Was electric one, so this yeah. is the same. Yeah. Press the button, flush it out as much as you can, yeah. and just drain the last little bit through there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The reason why we use the flush pump to do that as well is get the water out of the pump. Right. So any okay. water trapped in the pump, obviously that can fill yeah. as well. Okay. Alright. That's that one. Right, just be just be careful. I know to that point. And James, put your number plate on the back. I think that's the correct number plate. If yes, that's the one. Yeah. yeah good. <laughs> on the back here, you can see two bra two brackets there. That's to receive a bike rack. So if you decide you want to have bikes on the back, yes. 
one thing I'd just be cautious on how much weight you put on there. It has got a weight limit anyway. Yeah. But if you're aware of, if you're driving down the road and you've got a lot of weight at the back of the van, stability can be an issue. Yes. If you've got a lot yeah. of weight, if so, you're going to put bikes on here. Obviously, make sure they're reasonably light bikes. Yes. You need to balance it out with weight at the front if you've got weight at the back. Yeah. Okay. All yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. As we come around here, this side, which is nice and warm. Down here, you've got a bit of um, access to under the bunk. Oh right. Okay. So a bit of storage, obviously, you can access from outside. Yeah. Cable there. So you've got the 240 cable that comes with it. Be careful what you're actually putting in. Obviously, again, weight at the back of the van. Yeah. So just you probably not really wanting to put if you've got a big heavy awning to put yes. that here. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. I was supposed yeah. about that over the axles. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Either that or put it in the car. If yeah. you've got space in the boot of the car, yeah. that gives you that bit of extra weight in yeah. the car as well. If you can see here, if you're aware of what these are, these are called drop vents. Okay. Okay. Do not block them. No. If you have a gas leak, which you, the chances of it are very, very rare. Yeah. But if that has been blocked over, you do have a gas leak. It always goes to the lowest level. Yeah. If, if it's not blocked, it will, all we'll do is float to there, drop okay. it out for that and disperse safely yeah. underneath the van. Obviously if you smell gas, always turn the gas off on the gas cylinder itself. Yeah. Okay? But there are a few vents dotted around on the floor in the van, make sure they're not blocked. Okay, next thing we come to is uh, is concerning the wheel nuts. I've got my torque spanner one to remind me to. I will be checking them before you leave. Okay. It is important that you check them regularly. Yes. I always check them before I go away each time. Yeah. It is 130 newton meters, which is actually on your plate here. Right, okay. Which, if you had the alloys on your last one, it's you, slightly more than what that would have been. Okay. So on the smallest writing here, which you think is the important the information <laughs> you want, yeah. is the smallest writing. It does tell you steel setting, but it's, just, it's the alloy, obviously, the alloy. We, we're concerned with. Yeah. And you've also got tyre pressure there as well. Great. Alright, yep. so make sure again check your tyres as well. How come you feel you need to check it that frequently with torques? It's, it's, it's for peace of mind at the end of the day. Uh, a few years ago, Bailey had an issue where wheels were coming off and they weren't quite sure what. So, obviously, the industry as a whole, we need to make sure that these things are, are safe and obviously, you do not want wheels coming off. So, if you've got a torque spanner, it's only a couple of minutes to check and it, even with your, just an ordinary wheel spanner check. Mm -hmm. It's not a known problem, despite the, the no. question. No, no, no. It was, it was Bailey that re it really triggered it. But um, obviously, the whole industry is saying, right, if we offer this advice, you're aware of, there's yeah. no way that wheel's going to be coming off. It's that important that we have, when this is PDI'd, three different engineers have to sign and they have to check. Yeah. So there's three different engineers. That's how important it is. Yeah. Okay. To obviously, to us and your safety. I'm the last one, when it leaves here, I check this before you leave as well. Yeah. So, each time, just check. So it's it's a standard um, three quarter inch. Three quarter inch. Yeah. So it's exactly the same as the, the wheel nut spanner that you've got. So if you have got a torque spanner, use a torque spanner. Okay. Well, it's just that, at the end of the day, it's peace of mind that obviously you've got kids as well, Sa yeah. safety wise. But it's, it's also the damage it can cause, even though you might be quite safe on the road. The damage it can cause if that wheel does come off. Yeah. You don't want that damage on it, especially on a nice new car. <laughs> right. Key wise, so we've got one and a spare. One key does all. Right, okay. Or one and a spare. Yeah. Okay, so you've got the posh one that folds. Oh, well. Wow. All there. Not the posh one, yeah. depending on which one you want to use. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right, if you like to go inside, obviously it's nice and warm in there compared to here. It's just a, it's yes, a, it's a magnet. It's just a magnetic yeah. catch. Yeah, it's not like the. 